Hey guys, just got a new scat pack. Wondering what's the widest tire I can fit on the factory wheels? So, did you guys know the play and work play drive? It's supposed to be part of a car slash gaming slash IT related channel, which basically we just morphed into a car channel. Don't worry, if you're coming here for car content, it'll be back soon, uh, as soon as I'm done playing this game. Uh, don't plan on turning this into a gaming channel, so don't begin unsubscribing. But I figured I want to share this with you because it's been a lot of fun. Got the Oculus Quest um, and just been playing random games, and this one's kind of sticking with me. It's kind of like an arcade game where you're you know, running around shooting things or killing things. Um, and to be honest with you, it's a pretty awesome just all-around game. Let's start with the guns. The reload mechanics on this game are, is freaking hilarious. As you spend the weapon, you, you don't reload it, you don't fumble with it on your vest, you toss it away, and another one teleports right to your waist. So as you're using the gun, your other one's teleporting in. So it's not very environmentally friendly, but you know, it's just, it, it's kind of comical. And you have unlimited ammunition. They just keep on coming. Now your primaries, you can load out two pistols on your hip, and on your back you have a shotgun and an electronic rifle and those you can obviously upgrade as you progress through the game as well pretty cool stuff and again just throw them away and new ones appear now is a game with unlimited ammunition fun of course because you barely use the guns you really don't need to everything in the game can be a weapon well everything with a little grab handle on it can be a weapon so you basically go through the game, if you grab one of the robots, you can rip off any part of their body and kill another robot with it. You want to take a head? Throw it at somebody? It's a weapon. You want to rip off a leg? Complete the entire level with just a leg? You can do it. And also, bullets being shot at you. The game's got a really cool slow-mo feature where you can slow down time, grab one of the bullets, flip them around, Shoot them back at the other guy. Power last down. but not least, some of the um, more serious enemies in the game can be grabbed and utilized as weapons as well. What a you guys are interested in seeing some gaming content on the, in the future? Drop some comments below. Who knows? I may record some other stuff. All right, so now I'm going to shut up so you guys can check out. So I'm recording this on a 1024 by 1024 format because the Oculus headset, that's its standard recording. Don't have an expensive setup for this, but just imagine yourself in an immersive world where everywhere you look, you see, you know, virtual reality. It's pretty awesome. Let us, we cannot serve your service with a smile. Going to pieces! Ow, 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 low power. Clock to Alright, Hotshot. Customer request noted. Yellow shipping cards. Leave them on or take them off. Come on. Hurry up. Wrong answer. Power down. Good work. Move down the street, Agent 34. Customer request for promotion. Young Unauthorized service detected. Hit power down the screen. Not again. I was just getting started. Daisy, Daisy. Please keep your top promotion. with a smile.
Seriously? It's got me. Come here. Give me that. My now listen to me. Stop putting Hellcat badges on your V6. We cannot serve your service with a smile. Plot to Barada next to. Did I mention the game is really awesome for getting out your aggressions? If you're having a rough day, slamming around a few robots really makes everything so much better. Oh, RoboReady is reading a large uptick of rogue robots in this hotspot. It's your chance. Do that recalling you do so well. Hey, I swear it was like that when I got here. Our enemy's plans may become evident if we can analyze enough functioning robots. Please collect as many as possible. Three, two, one, go! We cannot Collected see items may be thrown into this tractor beam. Slapline and they had handles. We cannot serve your needs this way. Can we talk about this? It's got me. <laughs> Customer request noted. So for those of you interested, the gaming system I'm playing this on is the Oculus Quest 2. Ranges in price between $299 for the 64 gig version, which is way more than enough to play a bunch of games, all the way up to $399 for the 256 gig version. It's as simple as pulling it out of the box, signing in with your Facebook account, and boom, start buying games, or even just playing the ridiculous amount of free stuff that's out there just to get used to it. I'm having a lot of fun with this system. I'm not a kid. My kids love it too, but... You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, I was going to get the Xbox. I figured I'd give this a shot and kind of been stuck in virtual reality ever since. Also, it's great. I'm moving around a heck of a lot more instead of sitting at my desk or sitting on a chair playing games. So, something to think about. If you're interested, there'll be links in the description below. Check it out. Got any questions? Drop a comment. I'll get back to you. Leave it alone. Great work, Agent 34. Return to the office, please.